Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my Pro Sawdust Shop. Back in the shop tonight after being away for a week on vacation. Uh, as many of you know, I was vacationing in Myrtle Beach over the last few days, and uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for all the emails I got uh, giving me uh, different places to visit while we were there. Uh, several people suggested places to eat, and uh, we, we had a great time, so thanks for all that. Back in the shop tonight, wanted to put together a pattern that was just kind of fun. While I was on vacation, uh, looking through all the tourist stores and all that kind of stuff, I saw a rubber band gun, and uh, I thought, well, that would be a pretty neat project, but I just didn't want to build the same old typical rubber band gun that uh, everybody sees, you know, where it's just a single shooter. So what I've come up with here is a rapid fire nine shooter, and uh, just wanted to do a quick video to show you how this thing works and give you a little detail on how to put it together. You'll be able to find the plans for this at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here, give you a better look at it, and then I'll show you how it works. Here's my little rapid fire nine shooter. Um, Basically, uh, you'll be able to cut this out pretty easily. There's not much, uh, not much to the pattern actually. Uh, the only trick with this pattern is getting good smooth action on the trigger assembly, and I'll show you how that works here in just a second. Uh, basically, it holds nine rubber bands, which are all mounted in these teeth, and as the trigger assembly is pulled towards the back, this ramp releases each of the rubber bands. Uh, you can fire it uh, single shot, but it's kind of difficult to do. It's actually made to be uh, as a rapid fire. Uh, you want to get uh, some rubber bands, and I think these are two and a half or three inch rubber bands that I'm using for this, and I'll give you a closer look at those in a minute. They seem to fit this gun the best. Okay, we'll get a little closer here, and I'll show you some detail on the action. Here's the trigger mechanism, and uh, basically what it is, is it's some one eighth inch uh, in this case walnut that I used and uh, the blocks here are built to allow this mechanism to slide back and forth in this groove that's cut in the side of the gun and so as you pull it back you can see these ramps right here and these ramps actually lift the rubber band up out of its tooth and let it release it towards the front of the gun and you can see on the front of the gun we've got a little groove cut here for the other end of the rubber bands to seat into that's really all there is to this. Uh, the one thing you want to do is when you're assembling this, and you'll be able to see it in the pattern, is there's a lot of stress on this trigger mechanism. So after trying glue a couple times and failing, I finally decided that it needed to have a bolt through here. Uh, so once you get everything all glued up, go ahead and drill yourself a hole in this trigger mechanism and put a bolt with a couple washers on it uh, and a nut and tighten that down uh, to give it a little more. Uh, stability there. You also, when you go to load this gun, the rubber band gun, you need to start from the back to the front. Uh, otherwise the rubber bands won't be released, they'll trap each other. So put the first rubber band in the back tooth, pull it forward, and then go from there up towards the front. Okay, I think that's really all I need to show you. Uh, again, just be very careful when you're building it to make sure you get a nice smooth action on the trigger as you pull. Um, when you cut this piece out, again, you want this to move back and forth real easy. So when you get done and you go to laminate this trigger mechanism together, you might want to sand down the actual body of the gun to make it just a little bit thinner than the half inch. Uh, that just gives you a little more room for this trigger to slide. And I think you'll be able to see that in a pattern also. Okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how it shoots. I'm going to give you a little demonstration here of how the uh, Rapid Fire 9 shooter works and I've got a few little targets set up over there in a box. Basically I'm just going to grab the grip and the trigger mechanism, pull the uh, trigger mechanism back and we should get some rapid firing here. Maybe not lethal but not bad. Here's a demonstration on how to uh, load the rubber bands onto the gun. Uh, grab your rubber band with uh, one hand like this Go ahead and put it in the first or the last tooth, the tooth closest to the grip. Pull it forward, lock it around the front, making sure that the rubber band is on the outside of the trigger mechanism. If you get it on the inside, it won't fire. So once you get the first one on, take the next rubber band. You might need to hold it down to keep it from firing on you as you place it in. Again, keep it on the outside of the firing mechanism. And you just continue that process 
all the way to the front. As the rubber bands start to build up and you get closer to the front, uh, you might have to push them down a little bit to keep them in these teeth. You don't want to push them down too much because you want to uh, you want it to be a fairly hair trigger so the closer they are to the top of these teeth the faster they'll fire. And just two more, whoops, see that one's getting ready to come off because I didn't hold it down good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just push down just a little bit harder this time and I think that'll stay. And sometimes this very last one up here is a little tricky. So again just use your right hand to push that down a little bit, go ahead and lock it in, and that's pretty good. So that's how you, how you uh, load the uh, rubber band gun. This project's a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy making it. Um, I'm not sure if it's safe for small children or not, but uh, uh, there's not a, a lot of force on these rubber bands towards the front. The last two are probably stretched out enough to give you just a a little bit of a sting if they hit you. But anyway, that's it. Just wanted to do something fun in the workshop tonight, and I think this fills the bill. I uh, hope you enjoyed this project, and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.